Hi there, how's it going? We just um, finished a little bit of training exercise in a new installation of a wall forming head here down at McKenna Sheet Metal in Melbourne. And I wanted to show you a little bit how easy it is to program a value band actually. So it's very simple in fact. We have our main interface. From the main interface we can select our statistics, we can select our parameters, we can select, and this is the most important part, just our profiles. So we have a library in here, all the jobs which we have previously drawn. And now I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to make a, let's say, standing scene panel. So if I click new profile and I give it a name, ST1234, whatever, it's only a name. And I start drawing up a panel. So I tap with my um, finger and then I can just keep on tapping and draw my different sizes out and go along with the job I can make it bigger, smaller, I can vary the angle, so I can literally change things as I go along. Of course, if I don't like something, I can just back, go backwards and delete the whole story. So let's do this again. I make my first shank here, happy with the length, go across, happy with the, with the angle, go across, go down, happy with this, go further, make my pen here, Go up again 30 millimeter and go in and I'm done and dusted. So the beauty about the system is you don't have to flick menus or go anywhere else. You can simply just click on the number you want to change and we make this here 10 millimeter. Voila, we make this here 15 millimeter. We make this 30. We leave this 190, but I don't like that 15 there. I make this 10 and Let's say I'm happy with this, this is my job, I have to Now, many people here, the first time when they learn this, they love it, how easy it is in terms of bending sequence and how to modify, modify the position of your back gauge. The machine, if you maybe want to have a look in there, has grippers where you can over grip. So we can over grip over an existing feature. And in my second video, I will actually show you the job and show you the, the Overclipping. So here, all I have to do is select simulation, but before I do this, here's our 3D image. I will select the color. So now you can see the color. There you are. Beautiful, you can rotate this, look at it. It gives you all the different dimensions. And like on an iPad, you can zoom in, zoom out, do whatever you want. You can size it. You can pan it, can do anything with this. So clicking back onto this brings me back to the drawing. Hit simulation, the machine now has calculated for you the bending sequence. Oops, I forgot the finger. So never mind, we go back. If I select gripper and cutting for example, the machine will now be running it in automatic mode and uses its own gripper. Hence, when I press simulation, I get the gripper display. Here I have a simple menu where I can select my next step, last step, the previous step and I can position the gripper fingers wherever I want. The machine works it out where your datum point is. Have a look at this. So if I say my next step after the cutting is the first bend, then comes the next bend, next bend. So at this point in time I have to flip the sheet, right? My datum here, the red point, is at the end of the sheet. So if I go next step, it has flipped it. And you can see that at this point in time, I could not hold it like this. I have a few options. I can bring the gripper finger back using this button and then using the stainless steel flag and go next angle and position my back gauge. Simple, I'm done. But I don't want this. What I want to do is I want to over grip and I got a couple of positions. So the red dot just showing me the machine knows we are at the end, that's the face of the job. And then simply every next step, it will remember this. So there you have it. I can teach you this machine in a couple of hours and you make expert precision components. Have a good day, folks.